Hi guys, welcome back for another one. Today, I got an under the weather nature boy with me, and today's topic is going to be five teams we'd like to see get a buff to make them meta again by scopely adding one, two, or even three characters to this team to how to do so. So we're gonna give you the team and the characters we'd like to see be added. So nature boy, are you ready? Uh, I am ready. I apologize for my voice, but I'm ready to go. All right, then sit back, relax, and let's get into it. All right, Nature Boy is going to start us with number five. So the first team that I wanted to tell you about was the AIM team for two reasons. I think it would be a good tech solution in the raids, which we're desperately needing. And I think also if you add Super Adaptoid and MODOK, I think they're, especially MODOK is one character I think everybody wants to come to this game. Um, I think putting them all together would be a, a good solution to tech and they would give some new life to Graviton and Scientist Supreme. All right. Yeah, I think that's I think that's great. I would love to see uh, a river for aim and, and you were doing it without involving much of the minions, which I know uh, Scope usually frowns upon <laughs> buffy minions in this game. Uh, so, yeah, I, I would love to see those. I know Modoc's super popular in the community. Uh, I do know a uh, spoiler alert for those of you guys out there. I know in a dev call we've I had uh, recently, uh, they do say Modoc would be a challenge for them to do because he has a different body type than the standard characters in the game. So they would have to do a lot of, uh, you know, developing to make that character interact correctly without like making it look like you're punching through them or something like that. So, uh, so that's it. Number five, aim. No, I just want to say oh, really quick that, um, that shame on Scopely for body shaming Modoc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to go, Scopely. All right, let's move <laughs> on to number four. So, my number four is Astonishing X-Men, and I know what you guys are thinking. Mr. Free-to-Play, they're already meta. They don't need they don't need what I'm about ready to say, but you're wrong. They do. I do not want to see a full X-Men team come to the game, or Astonishing X-Men team come to the game to replace the Astonishing X-Men. I may be biased. I love Jubilee. Let's just get that on the table and put that out there. Uh, what I would really like to see is Gambit and Rogue come as Astonishing X-Men, replacing Iceman and uh, Kitty Pride on this team, adding the extra damage and sustainability they need to clear Doom raids, and it doesn't feel like a world boss node on Doom 2.3. Uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that Rogue is coming as a Horseman, and I absolutely don't want Rogue as a Horseman because I really want her as an X Men. Uh, so, Nature Boy, your thoughts? I I'm glad you said that um, because yes, the mutants they are the X Men are meta, but they do need to have some kind of change to get them through those doom twos um, because they do struggle. And I think when you look at all of their kits, Iceman and Kitty are probably the most expendable. And because the other three are pretty important yeah. with the team. Now, adding Gambit and Rogue, you could give them amazing synergy, just the two of them together. And then you add them onto the Axemen. Um, I think that you would be able to make a team that could get through the the Doom 2 nodes kind of on auto. And I think also that these two characters have been long overdue for the game, and I think they need to come. And I don't know, but I saw that Gambit and Rogue were kind of hinted. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just a setup, if they're just clickbaiting us, but I did see them kind of hinted, and I would just love for them to finally come through and put them in this game. And I think Axemen would be phenomenal again. Yeah, Scopely. Rip off the band aid and get it over with. Let's move on to number three. All right. So, my next pick that I think would be an amazing rework is the Kree. So, we have a lot of them. But we can just take all those minions and, and, and sweep them and put them somewhere in <laughs> Blitz Purgatory. That's fine. So I think what we could do is add Jan Rog and Marvell to the game. They've already been in the movies, so they're already in the MCU. They're popular. Everyone knows who they are. That would give Carol some new life. That would give Minerva some new life. And then you could even give some, some life to, um, to like a Korath or a Ronin, or yeah, even an Ultimus. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one who uh, needs it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Ultim Ultimus is, uh, it, it's, so, it's so sad what happened to him. Uh, he, was just, he was just never good. Yeah. He was never good, except in very specific circumstances. 
But if you could put some synergy, and, and we'll go with uh, Ultimus. But you got Ultimus, um, Carol, Minerva, Yonrog, and Marvel. I think would be an amazing team. You can make them. I wouldn't want them to be a war team, but you could make them a, a good war offense team. You can make them a um, a pretty decent raid team for the uh, for the Kree lanes in Gamma. Um, there's a few uses that you could that you could do for them, and I think that would be a great uh, addition to the game. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely love this pick. Uh, Minerva, Captain Marvel, you'll never say me, see me say a bad thing about these characters getting reworks and Ultimus as a character out of all these Creed characters that I think deserves uh, a rework the most because he just never really, like, as a player who's been playing for three years, you see him on my roster, he just never got the love because he was never really a meta character. So, uh, absolutely love this pick. Let's move on to number two. So for number two, I have Inhumans. And what I would really love, the two characters I really have to see come to this game to, re, to be put on the Inhuman team is Gorgon and Medusa. Uh, kickoff Yo-Yo, Kickoff Quake, uh, both of them can go to a shield team. They can rework a shield team somewhere. No shield sound on this list. And then you'll give us Crystal, Karnak, Black Bolt with Medusa and Gorgon, making Inhumans impor uh, important again and making Black Bolt's niche uh, back into the meta again. Uh, I, th that's it. That's all I got to say. Just do it. <laughs> what do you think, Nature Boy? Yeah, totally agree. And unfortunately, Black Bolt didn't get enough time in the limelight. Um, and then you kind of got this team in flux right now because you got Miss Marvel with the Young Avengers. Um, Quake and Yo-Yo are our, our S.H.I.E.L.D. characters, pretty much. So adding Gorgon and Medusa would be amazing. Again, they're popular characters. Um, when this team first came out, everybody was saying like, hey, what about Medusa, you know? I mean, she's the queen of the Inhumans. Yeah. So, so I think adding some new life into this team, they're a good team still, but you just have so much flux going on with this team um, with everybody going to different places. I think they just need a solid team to come together and put Black Bolt back into the meta. And maybe even add a third character and get rid of Karnak because he's probably one of the most useless characters in the game too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Karnak, but you know, they could rework his kit to make him somewhat important. But, uh, yeah. uh I, th I think for the most part, I just want to see bio characters that are important somewhere else in the game other than city. Dark yeah, dimension. <laughs> yep. So, totally agree. Yep. So, all right. So yeah. with, with that said, before we get into number one, I just want you guys to know, I don't want you guys to know <laughs> if you guys want to give me what team you guys would like to see reworked, what characters you'd like to see added. Let me know in those comments down below. I'm interested to read what you guys want. Uh, with that said, let's jump to number one. Hey, I do apologize for this being a little tricky to show on the screen, but we're putting She-Hulk up because I think we need a Gamma team at this point. So She-Hulk needs to be taken out of the lame stream and into the mainstream. So she needs a rework, 100%. Hulk, poor Hulk. Hulk is uh, has been so neglected in this game. He's been so like thrown to the curb. Not only does he need a rework, but he needs a model rework as well. He needs to be big. <laughs> he needs to be strong. He needs to look like he did not skip leg day. So with that being said, I also think that we need to add um, Abomination, which he just recently made his debut in the MCU um, in Shang-Chi, which I think is amazing. He would do good things on that team. Maestro. I think, um, you know, I came over from the Future Revolution group and uh, and they did amazing things making Maestro look good. So I think Scopely absolutely has the potential to make a really good Maestro in the game. Um, and I love his story. I think I think he's got a great story. And then uh, lastly, and this one's near and dear to my heart, uh, RIP William Hurt. I think we need a Red Hulk in the game on a, on a team. Uh, like a Gamma team or Thunderbolts team or something um, to put him in it. So Th Thunderbolt Ross, great character. Um, he's amazing in the MCU. I love William Hurt as an actor. I think it would be a nice tribute to him. And I think he can make a really good, decent uh, Gamma team. Um, again, it could be a, a, a war team. It could be potentially a raid team. It, there's so many uses for it. And it, it would be um, kind of like a very new and shiny team that I think we desperately need in this game. All right. Uh, so to recap, She-Hulk and Hulk with uh, three brand new comers to make a Gamma team or a Thunderbolts team. Uh, so that is number one. And you guys can let us know what you think of our picks down in the comments down below. But before we go, Nature Boy, tell them where they can find you. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you can look up uh, Nature Boy 80 on YouTube. Um, you're not gonna. Fi- I'm not so big yet, so you're not gonna find me. But you put in the search bar Nature Boy Marvel, all my videos will pop up. And then I also just started streaming on Twitch, so you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash the Nature Boy 80. All right. Uh, links for him will be down in the description down below, which I gotta go go fishing for the Twitch one now. <laughs> uh, but with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully, you got your brain spinning on what you can pressure scopely to do. Add those into the Reddit comments and hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.